Hey guys, Stephen here, and we're back to another Roblox tutorial. Uh, this is the UI creation, our UI playlist. Um, so on this one, I'm gonna teach you on how we can use the image button. Uh, it's pretty much the same as the image label that we discussed on our previous topics, but the subtle difference on it is it's a button and the one is just like an image on your GUI mostly for like backgrounds uh, and other stuff labeling labeling the stuffs as image so it's not gonna be a button but an image um, so yeah let's get on to it uh, the, I think the unique difference of this two is aside from the that it's a button and the one is a label um, the image button have this property called hover image we're in if you notice I hovered my mouse onto the hover image and it's highlighting this image and we're in I hover it to the image label there's nothing of like that so that's the I think unique difference of the image button and the image label now we can change that hover image if we had had another image so basically it's all the properties would be the same on the hover image and the actual image the hover image would only appear when the mouse hover or on mobile when you click on it it's just gonna change the appearance of it and basically a whole new image but it's gonna die down as soon as you hover past it so let me show you I'm gonna add some image on it uh, let's let me choose a different one okay so it's a gray star uh, and you notice it didn't change nothing changed on the actual image but if I hover it I hover there it should be a gray star now it's a gray star and the mouse is still there and the star is gray now if I remove it it's gonna turn yellow which is the actual image that's the hover image now uh, let me just put this on transparent so we can see see it's it's being gray uh, the background is not affected and something sort of like that and uh, since both of this are under one image button it shared the same properties meaning if I change the color on the image it the hover image will also be affected so I would recommend that if you're using hover image you make it either darker or lighter than the actual image something like this um, let's change it you see uh, the one is darker but it's trying to highlight it making it darker and it's kind of like a giving it the glow when you hover it so it's kind of unique and it, this also affects the since it's one property it the image property is also affected so those stuff you can like uh, play with it so you can match a cool effect on your GUI and as usual if you want to make it default color just put it on white so that's it uh, and another thing uh, by the way is we discussed the scale type on uh, image label this also works on image button so let's let's try the tile if you notice oh, it's too large maybe we can put 0 0.01 0 0.01 no that's too small if you notice there are stars maybe 0 0.1 okay so 0 0.1 this is a better version uh, you see that this have the yellow but when I hover it it's gonna turn into gray so it affects all the tiles whether it is stretch fit or whatever um, scale type that you want it's still gonna change its color so it's gonna be the same uh, it's gonna have the same effect it's only one property and that's how you kind of edit the image button and it's pr pretty much the same on the image label but it's pretty cool effect you know so make use of that and if you find value on this kind of videos please press like the like button and do subscribe to our channel we upload daily and if you have any questions at all on the video or you want to see a different video any kind of questions put it down below and 
will be sure to answer and if you need help on anything like your game you need help on it chat us at perlemongames.com we do respond uh, and we're gonna help you out with it catch you on another video bye bye